What's up, Raf gang? It's Raf. Raf Cave. Welcome back to another movie talk. Now, guys, this is a movie that I just got done watching with my son Rex in the Raf Cave movie theater. And my God, what an awesome, awesome experience it was. I haven't seen the full length movie of The Incredible Hulk in probably five years. And, you know, with the, the, the rejuvenation of seeing the Abomination fighting Wong in the Shang-Chi trailer. Brought out all this excitement about the Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton. This movie here, I loved this movie the more than I ever loved a movie before. This movie is fantastic. It has all the comic book elements of the Incredible Hulk. You have the really cool intro of him in the in the laboratory, just like the old Bill Bixby TV show, and he's strapped in, he's rotating, and you got the gamma. You know, green light going right at his forehead, and that changes everything. And he just hulks out in the laboratory, goes nuts. Amazing opening credit scene, sets up the whole thing. And Edwards, he he, he runs away. He's he's living off the grid in Brazil, just laying low, having a, a regular job, doing his thing, just just getting by. In the meantime, he's talking to a, a professor in New York, uh, Mr. Blue, and you know, back and forth trying to get a cure, right? Meanwhile, he's still staying low and trying to get away from, you know, General Ross and what he wants. Man, it's just such a great, great movie. It was incredibly well paced. The actors are great in this movie. Edward Norton trying to do the the yoga, you know, to keep himself calm. He's got the little watch to, you know, to tell him what his pulse rate is at. Because if it goes 200, 200 beats per minute, he's, he's hulking out. So he's learning all these things to control his anger, keep it down low. And he's just trying to get information and send him sample, send Mr. You know, Mr. Mr. Blue samples of his blood to try to get a cure. And then all of a sudden, man, you get in some some trouble, you know. And all of a sudden, now General finds out where he is, sends a team, you know, the military team to go get him. You know, hires uh, Blonsky, this dude, this military guy, to lead up the, the the group to go get him. And it's just an intense chase when they find out where he is. And Edward's running away, and they're shooting at him, and then he gets cornered, and he gets trapped, and he gets bullied around and pushed around, and all of a sudden he hulks out. It's awesome. Just, just, just great. Just looking at Hulk, man. He's just so ripped, so intense. He's got these really cool green eyes, and he just looks awesome. He's so awesome. Just, just really cool. And if you listen closely when, when the agents or you know, government shooting at him, you listen. He says, leave me alone. Right? And he backs away, and he, they won't leave him alone. He just wants to get away. Loved it. Seeing Liv, Liv Tyler as Betty Ross when he finally reunites with her. What a great moment that was. So touching. And meanwhile, you know, Blonsky wants to get the serum, right? General Ross gets the serum he's been working on. He's, he's had it, you know, iced up for so long. Injects him with the first dosage. Gives him some super strength and speed. And he's taking on the Hulk in an awesome action scene with the military amazing the sound of this movie is incredible too it's dts dts x so if you have a good home theater guys you crank it the bass is phenomenal the surround is great all around me and your home theater is fantastic and then you got the abomination right let's let's look at some pictures guys i mean come on let's look at some pictures of this thing i mean of course hulk's is just awesome look i mean i love the way this this hulk looks mean shredded cut Beautiful. Absolutely awesome. Love the way they did him. And of course, you know, we talk about the three Hulks. Eric Bana with his the mushy Hulk, right? He's mushy and he's large, soft looking, but he's just he's just a big teddy bear. Edward Norton, chiseled, mean, green Hulk. Then you have Mark Ruffalo's Hulk. Just too much Mark Ruffalo, too much. Not as intense. Maybe one time he was good in the Avengers 1. After that, he fell off. Let's not talk about that. We're talking about the Incredible Hulk. Edward Norton's Hulk. You got Blonsky. This guy. Right? He's taking this the super serum. He's getting injected because he wants to be... He wants he wants the power. Right? He's seen what this Hulk was. And he's like, I want it. And he puts himself through that. And proves himself that he's worthy to take on the Hulk. Right? What are the pictures we got here? Oh, man, it's just, I, I love, he's skinny, 
right? Edward Norton, skinny, more of a scientist, you know, trying to get away. Love the way he works, man. Edward Norton, love the way he works, right? What else we got here? Look at that. Love when he changes the green eyes. Fantastic. And this scene here, guys, when he's when he's strapped in here. Damn, what a transformation it was, man. You can see it just veins popping, getting all muscles shredded, bones are popping. <laughs> he looks like he's in pain. I love this. That was so intense. Fantastic scene. Now let's talk about abomination, right? This guy, abomination. What a threat. When he first busts out of the uh the laboratory when he told that one scientist to inject him with the with the Hulk the Hulk gamma, Hulk's blood. Boom, right? Becomes this. Other than Thanos, there, there is not one other villain in the Marvel movies that would match his intensity. Now, that's a villain. I, you ain't stopping that dude. So I love the way they set up Abomination in here. And I can't wait to see him in Shang-Chi when he's actually more greenish. He's got the fins and the ear. And he's got some clothes on and stuff. He's going to look badass. So that was awesome. His setup. And then, of course, Hulk you know, jumps down. And they're fighting each other incredible battle between abomination and hulk in, in the city streets loved it and even oh there's a scene when, when hulk grabs betty and takes him off takes takes her off into the caves and it's raining downpouring and hulk's so gentle and lays her down you know he's looking at her and, and she wakes up and he's like oh she's, she's frightened and hulk's like oh god i'm frightened too and he bumps his head in the, in the cave and then all of a sudden lightning and thunder's going off and he's just yelling at the sky and he's getting all mad and stuff. And then she's like, no, no, it's all right. And finally he calms down. And, you know, it's just, just love the interaction there. It's fantastic. Very, very cool. And there's a couple other pictures here, but man, guys. Yeah, look at look how crazy Blonsky is. Look how crazy he's like. He tells he tells the uh he tells the scientist here, Dr. Blue, or Mr. Blue. I want I want what he's got. I want it. I want their power in me, right? So that's when he experimented on and he changes into abomination. That's his backstory. But yeah, Blonsky, he was real good in this movie. Other than that, guys, man, what if you guys haven't seen the Incredible Hulk, Edward Norton, let me tell you guys, you have to go out and rent this movie, even buy it. I highly recommend buying this movie if you don't have it in your collection yet. This is the gem of the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This movie so sad it's not involved somehow i mean this hulk really cool scene at the end uh when you see tony stark you know come on into the bar with uh, general ross and says you know hey we're putting together a team <sighs> sweet ending man anyway guys just just my thoughts just want to put it out there that i am incredibly happy i just saw the incredible hulk with edward norton he brought back my joy and love for the Hulk that I've been missing with the crappy smart Hulk dumbed down version that we've been getting lately in the MCU movies. I don't know how they're gonna pull off She-Hulk. Bringing in smart Hulk to take on the abomination that we just saw in Shang-Chi trailer. The abomination in Shang-Chi trailer will look at Hulk and smack him across the face and call him bitch. You tell me get the hell out of here. This Hulk here this is the Hulk we want to take on Abomination and to be in the MCU from now on. I don't know how it's going to happen. How are we going to get this Savage Hulk back? Because where are we at right now with, with Smart Hulk? We're, we ain't never going to see this again. I don't know how they're going to pull it off. They better turn turn heads quickly. Because Hulk is becoming just an afterthought, which is very, very sad. Anyway, guys, Incredible Hulk, Edward Norton. I love this movie. I'm giving it five out of five stars. It is a fantastic movie. I would watch it again right now wonderful love it anyway guys comment below let me know what your thoughts on the hulk is and if you loved the incredible hulk edward norton's hulk like i did like i do right now let me know smash the like subscribe if you're new and hulk rules this hulk does right here all right guys thanks for watching